In this lesson, we're going to take a close look at the docking and floating windows. The docked windows are located at the bottom of the screen. We can expand this area by clicking and dragging this bar. Depends on what you're working on at the time. If you're looking at a track list, you want to see your track list greater, you'll drag this docking area down and squeeze it really tightly so you can see your tracks better. But if you're trying to make a decision on what to import into your files or you're trying to find media or look at the groove pool or the chopper, you can expand that area, give yourself more room. You'll notice that there are three tabs here in this part of the docking area. Each one of these tabs represents a different window that we can click and open. The Explorer is where you can navigate your hard drive, find different files, import them into your project just by dragging them. It's a really easy way to add media to your project. And the Explorer has all of its own unique controls located here. When we switch to the Media Manager, all the controls change. It's like a separate part of the program. It just happens to be docked in the same location. Media Manager is a great place. It's where our loops are organized into different categories like genre, instrument, vocal, and so forth. If you click in a box which represents the tags, it shows just those loops which have those tags associated with them in the right hand side of the screen. We'll be covering the Media Manager in depth later. Group Pool is the same. It's got its own unique controls and purpose. You can drag these windows to the center of the screen by clicking on this handle here, holding your mouse down, dragging them, and then dropping them. I just dragged the Explorer to the middle of my screen, and now I can move it to wherever I want. I can also resize it to be the size that I want. When I close it from here, and then go back to my view menu and open it again, it shows up where I left it. I want to drag it back down to my docking area. You can see it kind of snap when it gets down there, right there. When I let go of my mouse, my Explorer returns. Now in this case, it becomes a new separate part of this docking bay and was not integrated back into this tab section. Let's try that again. You can see the difference. See that snap? That rubber band does not go all the way across the screen, but when it does and I let go of my mouse, now it comes back into this tab area. You can close this entire group by clicking the X. Each time you close a tab, let's turn back on the Explorer and Media Manager. You can drag the tabs to order them however you want to. Just click and hold down your mouse button and drag the tab to the location you desire. Alright, on the right hand side of the screen you can see we have another vertical bar which I can drag and resize then two areas of my docking bay. I've got the mixer on the one side and on the left hand side these three windows Explorer, Media Manager, and Groupal. Now I can drag the mixer out to the screen and float it to wherever I want to as well or I can drag it all the way over and squeeze everything else really tightly. Let's say I want it about halfway. Now I've got to scroll within my mixer to access all the information. I can minimize or expand my mixer or my other docking area with that arrow. I can close it and then reopen it. Okay, now by default you've only got these windows open. Explorer, Media Manager, Groove Pool, and then the Mixer is located here by default. If you go up to your View menu and turn other windows on, you've got the Chopper which shows up here. 
surround panner which shows up as a separate window audio plug-in again shows up as a separate window and so forth okay I think we can wrap this lesson up you should now be able to work with the docking and floating windows that come with acid pro